y'all it's your girl Kiki and I'm back with another video so for today's video it's going to be another cooking vlog because your girl loves to cook and clearly I cook every day so why not make it a vlog or whatever so anyways today I'm gonna be making steak some uh, lobster with some shrimp on the top. What's up, y'all? <laughs> y'all, this is my brother. I don't even know what the hell he's doing. <laughs> Baby, bro. daddy, like. Bro, can you no, move? No, no, you stupid. Bro. Baby, daddy. No. Anyways, y'all, so basically, I'm going to be making steak, lobster with shrimp on the top, um, mashed potatoes and cream of spinach and um and some mac and cheese i want to do everything today but i don't know if that's going to be taking too long but i wanted all of that because your girl was on some fat girl stuff today so you know i'm thinking about doing that but um i, I had already beaten the steak i'm gonna show y'all the steak real quick before i show y'all the steak like comment and subscribe hit that bell notification to get updated whenever i post and yeah <laughs> let's get into it so what i already put on the steak i beat it first before i put the seasoning because i don't want it to get too messy and then the like um seasoning go everywhere so after i beat the steak i put um sazon on it so i'm gonna go ahead i'm gonna go ahead and season the rest of this uh steak really quickly and then cater to my daughter so i'm gonna go ahead and do this Don't be afraid to get too messy in here because you can clean it up easily afterwards. So, so this is garlic um, seasoning, and you go. Don't be shy with the seasoning, especially with the garlic seasoning because it's garlic. Come on. So go ahead and flip it over. You don't have to like rub it in because it's gonna do it by itself. It has like moisture. So go ahead and season the back. Okay, so after you're done doing that, you want to go ahead and um, add some chicken seasoning or chicken more than then. I use this for damn near everything and stuff like that. So, yeah, and it makes the steak so good. So, you already know what's going to get put on here. So this one you can actually rub on it just because it's not going to go everywhere. So just rub it in or or you could pat it in because it's just going to go everywhere once you pat it in and stuff like that. It's going to even distribute, boom, just so you're not like rubbing things off and stuff like that. So go ahead and just pat it in everywhere, boom, now you want to Okay, so now you want to flip it over and then go ahead and add some more on the other side. So, oh my gosh, I need to use the bathroom. <laughs> Can't mind, but. So, okay, that's enough. Okay. You don't want to overdo it just because I'm going to put more seasoning. If you're just going to use this, then then you can put a good amount of that. But I'm going to be adding some other stuff, like some regular salt, just a little bit. And I'm also going to put some onion seasoning on it and stuff like that. And some pepper and all of that stuff. And some steak seasoning, if I can find it. Alright y'all, so I basically put this steak in the pan. It's cooking on medium. It's popping like crazy, but it's okay. So I'm going to keep it on five minutes on each side. And then I'm going to put it in the oven. Or you can cook it for like 15 minutes if you like yours really crunchy. Or like... You know, we all love burnt steak sometimes, you know. So, if you like it like that, then keep it in there for an extra two minutes on each side. 
or whatever for like 14 minutes but mind you guys i'm putting it in the oven so i don't think i need it in there for that long and this is the other steak waiting for it to be so i put my um steak in there already it's ready to get flipped so that's what i'm about to do right now and i'll show y'all the other side uh, so i'm basically so i'm basically done with the other side i'm sorry if the um the front was like or the vi like some of the videos is blurry because my phone was a little dirty but um this is the steak this is the steak um on flipped on the other side it's almost done so i'll be picking that out soon in like five minutes and i'm about to show y'all this water i put a little bit of water here for the um noodles so what you want to do is put water uh put as much water as you need like depending on how much like mac and cheese you're making i'm not going to make that much so i added a little bit i think i'll add a little bit more water in here and basically you want to put some salt so the um the mac noodles doesn't like stick to um each other or whatever and you wait till it boils so once it boils that's when you can put the mac in there and that's what i'll show you guys after i'm done and yeah and then you just let the mac noodles cook for like um like seven minutes or something i don't want it um for like seven minutes and stuff like that so yeah i'll show y'all the um what i make what so i do next. this is what boiling is just for some of you guys that don't know so it's boiling like this that's how you want it to um boil just so you know all the water is good and so if you want to add some oil go ahead and add some oil for some of you guys i think i might add a little bit of oil in here just because i don't want to deal with like like you know noodles that are sticking and stuff like that so let me go ahead and do that i'll show y'all how much i add so i basically i basically do the same thing as i do like when I'm making um when I'm making like rice and stuff like that. so basically like how I do the rice and the noodles is like I add it like just close to the top but not all the way to the top because you don't want it not to cook or it to soak in all the water you still want it in the water if that makes sense but um yeah I'm gonna add the um oil just so it doesn't stick and then move it around so it doesn't stick and then after that you leave it for like seven eight minutes i already said that but i'm gonna repeat it again and then it'll be done drain the water and then i'll show you guys what to do next so right now let me put the camera on me. all right my bad. okay so right now um since okay let me uh i'm all over the place y'all i'm trying to like hurry up and put it in but um alright give me a second y'all let me bring up the noodles um so while this is uh while this is um cooking while the noodles is cooking let me look at the bag just to make sure how many minutes to keep it on but usually it's like seven to eight minutes I'm gonna turn it down a little bit so it's not too like high. Um, so it says cook pasta. Okay, nine to eleven minutes. So we're gonna do eleven minutes because you know you don't trust these damn packages, okay? Okay. Your girl is really doing her thing. Okay, so we don't trust these packages till eleven minutes. So okay so um now that i did that i'm going to be making my and the shrimp cooks for like six minutes but sometimes i cook it for a little bit longer just to make sure it is done so spinach is gonna be done in no time yeah i'm gonna cut the potatoes first so it could be done clean it up i'm looking for this other pot i think it's in the um refrigerator because i um made some uh rice last time so i'm gonna have to um store that somewhere and clean that pot and then i'll make the um 
I'll um, boil the potatoes so I could mash it up and then the mashed potatoes will be done. I forgot to tell you guys that when you're cooking the mac noodles, you wanna make sure like you keep stirring it just so like you know that like it's not stuck together and you're just checking on it and stuff like that. So it's basically done and make sure you look at like the package and see how long you cook your mac noodles for because every like every brand is different. So this is great value brand, but you can use any brand you want. So basically I'm going to start seasoning the uh, mac noodles right now and then I will show y'all what I do next. So I'm going to put garlic first. I wish y'all could see it. So I'm adding a good amount of garlic powder because girl, we love them garlic powder. Okay. So I added garlic powder. So you want to keep stir when you're putting everything in there just so it can be evenly distribu distributed. So stir that. Yeah, sorry if I'm not showing you correctly. Make sure you get everywhere. So we gonna add the butter last. All right. So I'm back. So now we're gonna add some of the um, chicken seasoning. I'm gonna also add some nutritional yeast seasoning. So. Just a little bit of nutritional yeast seasoning. All right, y'all, so I added eggs in here. I already beat the eggs. So basically I added some whole milk in here, just a little bit of whole milk, just so that when you put the eggs in um, the mac noodles, it doesn't cook the eggs while it's in there. And we're also letting the um, mac noodles cool down so it doesn't cook. So once it's um, damn near warm and not like hot you'll know when to like put it like you want it cool so while that is cooling down and you already mixed this mixture I hope you y'all can't really see the full potential but I mixed it and so basically while that's doing that you want this to sit and just do its thing while you're making the um cheese sauce so basically to make the cheese sauce you want to add butter i'm actually going to add butter in the mac noodles because i forgot to do that um so give me a second now so sit let it melt into the mac and stuff like that and y'all y'all will know the mac and cheese is going to taste good i know this is there but when like you taste the mac noodles and you don't even need to add no fucking cheese but i'm gonna add cheese because because why not actually like if you don't want to add no velveeta in it um you could actually just go ahead and add the sharp cheddar cheese and put it into the um mac noodles after you're done putting the um butter in there just because it's gonna be moist and stuff like that and you want to add a little bit of um heavy cream and some of the char sharp cheddar cheese and then just add some on the top and then go ahead and pop it in the oven but me i'm gonna put some velveeta so what the velveeta does it kind of gives it like a like a soft cheddar like a soft no no like a creamy yeah that's more like it like a creamy flavor you know what I mean? This mac noodles is gonna be gone. I think Eric, like, that joint is gonna be gone. It tastes so good. I think I should've add, um, made some more. But y'all know Thanksgiving coming up, and y'all gonna get this video for Thanksgiving. I'm gonna be working on Thanksgiving, sadly. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make Thanksgiving dinner a day before so that I can so we can have Thanksgiving dinner, you know, on Thanksgiving. Plus, you know, food the next day is so good. Anyways, it's better to like leave your food for a whole day 
and then eat it the next day because it'll be it'll it'll taste so much better just because it sits and marinates and stuff like that. So let me show y'all the. My bad. Let me show y'all the mac noodles. It already looks like it has cheese in here just because of the um, nutritional yeast. It's like it kind of has like a cheesy flavor. That's what the nutritional yeast has. You can add it in popcorn, but I added it in my mac noodles, and we'll see how it tastes. I don't think nobody has ever did it my way, but yeah. So now you want to make the cheese sauce. I'm going to make the cheese sauce in this pot right here. So what you first want to do is you want to add... It's so good, y'all. What you first want to do is you want to add... um some butter because butter make it taste better okay some butter let that melt and then after you melt the butter you want to add um flour so just a little bit of flour i don't like too much flour because i don't want it to taste i don't want the mac noodles to taste too dry um but yeah so just a good amount of butter i would say another stick of butter and make sure you let the butter melt okay so i will be back once the butter is melted and i add a little bit of flour so literally what i'm going to do y'all could do it a little bit different and measure it out but what i'm going to do is i'm going to just put um just maybe three pinches of um flour and then let it like basically fry or cook whatever and then i'm going to add the heavy cream and then start adding the cheese in there so yeah I'll be I'm back. eating my steak. I'm going to show y'all my steak. But, where was that? Okay. So, I'm going to add, like I said, I'm going to add one pinch, two pinches, three pinch of flour. Then you want to hurry up and mix it so it doesn't clump up together. So, that's what I'm doing right now. Mix it, mix it, mix it, mix it. I hope y'all didn't let her in the closet. I mean, in the room. Okay. <laughs> All right. So I mixed it evenly. So it's mixed perfectly. So now what you want to do is you want to add the heavy cream, which I got right here. You don't want to add too much heavy cream because I make that mistake sometimes where I add just too much heavy cream and then I just add too much heavy cream and then it makes the like um, mac and cheese like uh, watery. So just add a little bit. That's literally good enough we can add some more as we go so you want to mix 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 okay so i'm gonna add a little bit more I wish y'all could see it. I would say a cup of heavy cream is good. So that's good enough. So then what you want to do is you want to cut up this Velveeta cheese. I'm not gonna put too much this time. I'm just gonna put a little bit just because we don't need too much cheese. Your girl trying to lose some weight over here. So. I ain't gonna add too much. So, I'm gonna add literally 
this size and then cut it in little pieces okay literally little pieces because you don't want to um you don't want to wait too long for it to like like melt because these take a little while to melt I probably add a little bit more heavy cream just because it does take a little while to melt, like I said. So make sure you cut it in little block pieces like this, this size, just because you want it to melt fast. And if it doesn't, then you can just add it in there. It's okay. We're still gonna make it good. It's just gonna be more, ch more like creamier and cheesier on certain sides, and it's not gonna be evenly distributed. So, so go ahead and just cut it in little pieces. Just take your time. It's good to take your time when you're making food because it'll turn out the way you want it to turn out. So, remember, cut it in little pieces. So, boom. So little pieces, remember, little pieces, boom. And y'all, I could also teach you guys how to make mac and cheese, like baked mac and cheese with the fast mac and cheese, the one that you just put in the, um, on top of the oven. It tastes so much better when you put it in, um, when you put it on the stove, um, those fast mac and cheese you can also bake those as well just like you're making um real um real mac and cheese if you make that a little bit different instead of like yeah. instead of like doing everything from scratch you make it how it says on the um packet so once it's done cooking um you want to add basically once it's done cooking and you mix everything up together you want to add some sharp cheddar cheese on top of it and just throw it in the oven literally just like that and boom you got yourself some baked mac and cheese but yeah i'm pretty much done cutting these velvetas in little pieces so i'll show you guys Going. I'm going to edit this video a little bit. But so I want to show you guys how it looks in the inside because it's already really creamy. Let me show y'all. Now that it's it was perfectly made. Okay. The flour came together really good and everything else. So, I'm sorry the lighting is not that good right now. So, basically, you just want to keep mixing so the Velveeta melts. Um, as y'all can see, I cut it in little pieces and it's already melting really fast and really good. And you want to keep mixing so it helps. So, it um, hurries up and mixes pretty fast. But as y'all can see, it's real cheesy and beautiful. Real yellow. So now, while this is um, melting pretty good and nicely, you want to add the um, you want to add the sharp cheddar cheese, which I got here. So I'm gonna add like maybe almost a whole pack of sharp cheddar cheese, and then yeah. So, um, I couldn't show you guys everything because my daughter's crying already again. So, I basically, the cheese melted. I put um, sharp cheddar cheese with the um, Velveeta cheese. Um, um, I didn't, I melted it, but it didn't really need that long to melt because it was thinly um, shredded. So, I ended up just putting it in the mac and cheese and mixing it all together evenly and making sure it's mixed everywhere. And then after that... I ended up adding 
um, more cheese, um, the rest of the Velveeta cheese, um, without it being melted, I put it in here and put a little bit of this four cheese Mexican style blend in here. Um, put a little bit in there as well, just so I could, like, it could just melt between everything and, you know, and not like in the pot by itself, so it's all creamy. Close it with aluminum foil and put it in the oven at 375 for like at least 30 minutes to an app yeah like for 30 minutes and then after 30 minutes i'll go ahead and take it off um or maybe even 25 minutes you really don't need to cook it for that long so then after that you'll take it the um, aluminum foil off and then cook it for another maybe um for another i would say maybe 10 minutes whenever it's like kind of golden brown and you can kind of see like it's done yeah it's done so um what you want to do is probably add some um butter slices on the top just so you know it could be good and then that's it okay well, so basically yeah. peel the potatoes usually i keep the skin on but this time i wanted to keep the take the skin off easier for the kids to eat and stuff like that and get the skin off so I'm gonna go ahead and add a little bit of salt. You're gonna let this boil for 20 minutes, 20 to 25 minutes, depending on how long it takes, until it's really, 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 really soft. And then that's when you wanna drain it and then mash it up and then go ahead and add your seasoning, your heavy cream, and then it should be done. But, um,. I'm ready for bed it's late so yeah oh so this is the shrimp the mac and i mean shrimp mac and cheese and mashed potatoes um this is the shrimp that's left over it's the mashed potatoes and the mac and cheese which i forgot to show you guys but i'll show you on my plate when i make it um, right now, I'm just about to go ahead and make the kids play and give them their food and stuff like that. And, yeah. So, yeah. But before I show you guys my food and then I end this video, I want you guys to like, comment, and subscribe. Hit that bell notification to get updated whenever I post. And, yes. Okay. So, Alright, so this is my whole plate. This is the steak. Um, this stuff that you see right here, this is just butter. Just to make it taste um better, you know, butter's good on everything. My mashed potatoes, don't mind that. That's from the uh, steak and stuff. Um, my cream of spinach, mac and cheese with the crumbs on the top, and cheese on the top with my shrimp on the side. So, yep. Yeah.